Today, we're gonna to be covering how you can use OneHot Encoder within Python with the help of sklearn preprocessing. Now, OneHot Encoder is really good when you're working with categorical data. Uh, the reason why is you're gonna to have to transform categorical data into numbers if you're gonna run any specific machine learning model. Now, OneHot Encoder focuses on something called nominal data. And if you're not too familiar with nominal data is, it's categorical data with no uh, numeric significance. So think of something like colors, right? Blue, red, white, orange, green. Uh, there's no hierarchy associated with it. Unlike something like ordinal data where there's always gonna be a hierarchy. Think of like small, medium, or large. So we wanna focus on nominal data for one hot encoder. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can code this out and also another example right now on my computer. We start, let's import pandas as pd. I'm gonna shift and enter and every time that runs a cell and creates a new one down below. Now I'm gonna input our data. So I'm gonna put this down below in the description so that way you guys can copy it. And then I'll show you what this data exactly looks like in a second. Um, essentially I'm grabbing all this over here. I'm gonna be building this into a data frame df and let's just run a df.head so that way you guys can see how, what we're doing. All right, so here we go. We have sales, we also have a city and then we have the size of, let's say, for example, a store. So before we go on, let's take a second and think, what is one hot encoder gonna be best to use? Are we gonna take a look at a city or are we gonna take a look at the size of the store? Think about it for a second. And the reason why I'm gonna be using city is, again, there's no like numeric difference between these, right? We have Tampa, Orlando, Jacksonville, Miami. Uh, but when you look at the size of a store, we have a small, medium, and large, and we can, actually quantify them. And we're gonna be doing this for another video talking about how we can change these sizes into numbers. Uh, but for this one, we're gonna be taking a look specifically at city. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do, I'm gonna take a look at all the different unique values on this. And all you have to do is DF, we're gonna put city in here, and then we're gonna put dot unique like this. And then we're gonna run it, whoops, that over here. And then you can see the different cities. So we have Tampa, Orlando, Jacksonville, and Miami, uh, the four most popular cities here in Florida. So essentially what one hot encoder is gonna do is it's gonna expand out this table over here. And instead of having a city right here, we're gonna have like, for example, Tampa, then Orlando, then Miami, and then Jacksonville. And for the first example over here, right, which is Tampa. So for all the other cities, it's gonna be zero, but for the Tampa new column, it's gonna be one. If you look at this one over here, same exact thing, right? So our Orlando column is gonna be zero, Tampa will be one, Jacksonville zero, Miami zero. Now in this one, we have Orlando. So our Orlando column will have a one in it, and then every other city is gonna have a zero. And you'll see how this is built out in a second, uh, much easier to show you when this is coded rather than before. Okay, so with that in mind, let's start importing our one hot encoder. So all you have to do is from sklearn.pre processing, we're gonna import and then one hot encoder, make sure you have capitals O, H and E. And now that is imported. Okay, so now we have to call our one hot encoder and I'm just gonna say O, H, E for one hot encoder. Uh, so essentially what we're gonna do is O, H, E equals, and we're gonna just copy one hot encoder like this. And there's a few things that yeah, you're gonna wanna call inside over here. Uh, so the first thing is we're gonna be taking a look at unknowns, like what happens with it. So I'm just gonna put handle unknown equals ignore. And that means I'm just gonna ignore. Now in my data, which I'll just show you real quick, I clearly defined everything. So there's gonna be no unknowns, but I'm just gonna put that in here for this instance. Uh, next, we're gonna put a sparse output. We're gonna put that equal to false. And the reason why is we're gonna be setting our output instead to a pandas data frame, which I think is pretty helpful. And the way that you do that also is you do set output, right? Output, and then inside over here, we're gonna put transform equals and then pandas, and it should be lowercase p. And essentially what this is gonna allow us to do is change the city over here within our pandas data frame, really nice. So I'm gonna shift and enter on that and I do have an error over there and let's see what it is. And I could not spell transform correctly. And now that I did, this is running and working correctly. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is fit our data. So I'm just gonna do OHE transform 
equals, and then I'm gonna say OHE dot bit transform, which if you use sklearn, you're gonna know this command quite a lot, right? And then inside, we're gonna put our data frame. So I'm gonna do a DF, and this time we're gonna throw in our city, right? And it's all lowercase on this side of things. So let's throw our city in here. And just to show you guys what this looks like before we merge it back into this data frame, I'm just gonna put OHE transform. And then you can see what I was talking about. So earlier we said it's gonna be all zeros and ones. So for our first instance right here with the sales, right? It's Tampa. You can see a Tampa is a one. Our second one's Tampa also. We have a one over here. And then over here with the two, we have Orlando, right? And Orlando over here, Jacksonville, Miami. So just to show you Jacksonville and also Miami. Another thing to call out is these columns are now created ABC order, right? We have Jacksonville up first, right? J, then we have M for Miami, O for Orlando, and then T for Tampa. So that's built out automatically on that side of things. So one last thing that we need to do on this data side of things is we have our data frame over here, right? And if I just go over here, df.head, right? We still have sales, city, and size. And then if we go over here, OHG transform, just to show you, it is a data frame, right? I'll just put that head over here. Um, these need to be merged because I would like to have this data populate in here. So one way we can do this is through concat. So I'll just show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna say our data frame is equal to and pd.concat. And now let's start throwing in some other stuff in here. So what are we concatting, right? We're concatting original data frame. So I'll put our data frame here like this. And then we're gonna put OHE transform, which we just generated. So let's put both of those over here. We're gonna put axis equals one. And then let's think about this, right? Now that we have this, that's gonna be added in over here. We can drop the city. So all you have to do is add into the very end dot drop. And we're gonna put columns equal. And then inside over here, we're gonna say city like this. All right, shift and enter. So now this has run, we don't have any errors on it. And just to show you this works, first we're gonna do df.head. Inside this head, we are gonna put 10. And check this out. So our city now has been dropped and we have our sales, our size of the store, and then we have 0001, 0001, and it is working properly. So just again, kind of to reiterate how this specific code works. So first we have this over here, sales, city, and then also size. We take a look only at city uh, because this fits what we're gonna be using one hot encoder for. Our size would not make sense to use this. Next, we take a look at some of the different unique values. The reason is, is each unique value is gonna be a specific column, right? And we have four over here. And just as a heads up, each of those specific columns is gonna be built out in ABC order where this is not an ABC order right now. Then we import in one hot encoder, just like that. Then we call our one hot encoder. I threw in here for a handle unknown and then also for the sparse output false. So that way we can use our set output over here and we're gonna transform uh, through pandas. So it can turn into a pandas data frame. Then we fit our data. So ohe.fit transform. We throw in here the city column. Then we have that it's been expanded out. Then essentially what I do is concat the two data frames together, right? DF and ohe transform on axis equals one. And then we're dropping the city and boom, we have our final output. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel as it does help, and these videos take quite a while to make. By the way, I have a video on train test split over here. It's another important thing that you need to do with your data before you run a machine learning model, and I highly suggest you watch it right now.